Um, this is funny, isn't it? Yeah, this is another one for two cool blog. Oh, uh, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's. No, I I kind of know what spurned this. Don't get me wrong, but I just don't know why he kept going and going. So basically, um, another podcast I'm a fan of, but that's been a little bit hard to watch over the last few over the last few months is the No Jumper Show, um, with Adam Twenty Two, Little House Phone and cam girl it's one of my favorites i think in terms of getting a bit of an inside scoop on what goes on in hip-hop in the kind of the hip-hop stuff that i sort of like not the one that joe Biden likes because joe Biden sort of occupies the sort of griselda end of it and then i guess with um no jumper you get all the lils are covered in that sort of under that kind of umbrella right and obviously you've got the benefit of little house phone being a rapper himself an artist you got cam girl also being a dj and an artist in her own regard in the edm world in la so you get a good perspective right and obviously um adam twenty two being kind of an industry guy they they both they both serve as good compliments it's, and it's nice that you know one's on the west coast one's on the east coast anyway that aside no jumper have i guess adam 22s have been having a little bit of a tiff a little bit of um tension in the air with that with dj academics mainly based around him i think the reason primarily is because he got that girl selena powell on his podcast who was like um the modern day superhead i guess but even more fragrant and incredibly, well, I guess incredibly less, well, way less attractive than Superhead. Let's say that for the most, right? Uh, in for my taste, at least, isn't it? Right? She does look a little bit like a, like a what, what they what they call them in uh, in America? Well, if you're like a lot lizard, a little bit like a lot lizard, right? She could be cast really good in one of them. Those kind of girls that hop around in people's pickup trucks and give them a good time for in exchange for a couple of dollars. She's not, you know, she's not the most. Um, uh, pleasing to the eye but she has some interesting stories so i guess she was one of the persons that kind of blew up academic spot about how he treats girls and then i guess on top of that adam 22 went out of his because you no know, academics is friends with uh, six nine who you no know, adam 22's complete hatred of him because of his snitching thing um and then adam 22 got selena no is this selena what's her name Sarah Molina, Sarah Molina, right? Yeah, um, Adam uh, Six Nine's baby mother in there on his show, which then angered um academics because he felt like Adam Twenty Two was fishing for clickbait and controversy when they already had the, they already on good terms and all this sort of nonsense, right? Just whatever, but. They finally got on, on the guy. They finally got in front of each other, you know, via Zoom or via the power of StreamYard, via the podcast, and they kind of hashed it out. And it was a four hour marathon of just complete nonsense. I tried to listen to it. I didn't really know what they were arguing about, really, for the sake of it. But it seemed like academics was really upset that Adam 22 was trying to paint a narrative that he was some kind of woman abuser or that he went extra hard on women, which is kind of his MO, right? I'm pretty sure the mantra, he doesn't have a mentor of like, um, um, he's hard on hose or something, right? That's kind of his thing. And he used to always interview Instagram thoughts, I think back in the day on his Twitch stream. So it shouldn't be, it's not a bad stretch. It's not a bad assumption to say that maybe he does go a bit extra hard at women and he would do at men. The way he was speaking to Nicki Minaj when he was going through his feud with her was the spiciness was really, really at, at all time high. I'm sure he wouldn't be doing that with the dudes. But then again, he does go extra hard at Meek Mill. He doesn't really pull any punches with him and he, he doesn't really have any nice words to say about Nav ever. So, you know, maybe he is somebody that's quite consistent, but I think there's a bit of hypocrisy on both sides. Adam 22 being um, purposely obtruse and pretending like he doesn't know what academics are talking about probably triggered him. But this exchange was bloody beautiful, absolutely beautiful, because it's such an, it's such kind of industry nonsense, right? They are basically arguing, they get to a head, they get to a point where academic screams at him and basically says, oh, Adam 22, you made, you made Cardi B cry. And it's like, what the hell is going on here? It's such a random kind of conversation, but big up two cool blogs uh, for uploading it as well. This clip is absolutely sensational, man. I'll get it up here on full screen for you guys so you can see it in all its glory. But this is Adam 22 and academics arguing, or academics arguing about Adam 22. Adam, bro, stop the fucking cap, my nigga. What, 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 what is, is the cap? I'm going to tell you what the cap is. Adam, <laughs> so let me now say names. And I've never said names before. No. So when Cardi B hit me up and says, Ack, I cried for three fucking weeks because I just saw, no, she said, I was going through a real life fucking issue, right? And for the way academics looks, right? Do you think he like, I always think about it, for the way he goes at people, do you think he can fight? He must be, he must be, 
he must be deceptively good with his hands. You know the kind of person that you wouldn't never, you never guess they could fight, but they are really good at what they do, right? They will box you up, right? He must have some level of training, some level of ability outside of the old Instagram punching bag clips that every bloody rapper seems to have or anybody in the hip hop industry adjacent seems to have. He must be really good with his hands to be this spicy and this braggadocious and shouty, shouty at people because the energy that he has like this, because imagine, if you're arguing with somebody that is on stream and you're essentially putting out, you know, his business and making him look like an idiot and purposely tried to sun him, you definitely have to be aware that if you see each other in real life, it's not going to be, what's up fam? What's up bro? Let's get, let me just talk to you. It's going to be like, some. there's going to be some static. There's going to be some energy in the air where you're going to know if you make a wrong look or if you make a wrong movement or if you even mutter something or some sort of inclination where I feel as if like you're trying to say something, it's going to be on site for real right it's going to be on site with it's going to be on site with a delay right pending your action i just seen that this bitch went on Oof. this nigga's podcast Oof. and said academic like a wrestler. set this whole fucking <laughs> thing up you know what my reputation goes to imagine academics caring about his reputation <laughs> that's funny but these two guys it's like it's like the battle it's like the battle of the um, it's like the not to be bad not to be bad man because i love them but it's like the battle of the sewer rats isn't it really right they're both sort of bottom feeders that kind of caught controversy in order to get clicks on their products on their services they're you know gossip merchants and they're kind of agitated at each other for putting each other's business out there or for making the wrong assumption about something when their entire business model is set on making assumptions uh kind of adding to narratives uh re retracting from narratives putting out false stories or placements payola it's just really funny that they're arguing that it's kind of a, a morality or yeah, sort of like a morality argument with two people that kind of are devoid of any morals whatsoever, in my opinion. Yes or no? And, and, and oh, see, 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 this why. Chat, I told you to watch my tone. You saw Adam's looking around like I'm like, be belligerent. I gotta uh, <laughs> but why, <laughs> why would Cardi B no. give a fuck about you fucking a girl at the same night no, or the no, same no. time? He's talking, time. Stop, He's talking yo, about when Adam, she lied Adam, about the Adam, offset shit. Adam, right. Adam, 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 <laughs> you make too much money off this culture to act ignorant. <laughs> But what, okay. what am I acting ignorant of? You gotta tell me. Okay, you're so so you're why are you interviewing <laughs> Selena if you're not talking about me? Tell me why. Tell She's me why. got 50 other rappers we could have talked about that we probably yeah. oh. did talk about before we talked about you. Perfect. Thank you. Name me the top two other rappers. Tory Lanez and fucking, I don't know who the fuck else it was at the time, man. She's got Stop such a long cat. list. It's not Tory. Hollywood, Hollywood life. E News TMZ covered a possible cheating story with Cardi B and Offset, and she was supposedly a baby mama. Bro, you talked about that, yo, Adam. Yo, I can't stand the cat, bro. I but by the time the I cap. did that, it's a, it's a, it's amazing really to see them arguing about it. It's such a nonsense story, four hours long, two absolute you know delinquents in their own right trying to out delinquent each other and actually no one wins even the viewers don't win because i'm sure after our one i'm sure yeah i'm sure after the first hour you kind of got the gist of where you kind of got the gist of what academics was annoyed at and you kind of understood what adam 22 was trying to do he was purposely trying to be a bit of truth purposely trying to not understand what was the issue was like oh i don't know what's going on i didn't know nothing wrong and it's like come on man you you've been poking the bear stoking the fire for ages and that's even the same thing with adam 22 as well i'm a fan of his but he's constant going on and on about six nine is just like relax man take it easy the amount of videos he's making and he's profiting off of six nine he's, he's again he's against it because six nine snitched and you know there's a street code and all that stuff cool and he obviously you know what six nine did was re reprehensible you know essentially um purposely got involved in you know street or hood or hood stuff and then when it got a bit too hot he started snitching told on people and essentially put people away who he co-conspired with well knowing full well what he was getting himself into you know so you know the, the ultimate street code he obviously broke but this guy's been going on on and on on about six nine for i don't know ever since he got out it's like relax man you must have like close to 20 videos plus on this guy who he purposely hates every interview or every other interview seems to have with anybody that's kind of got some sort of street rep he's always seems to ask the question about him or get that involved somewhere or the other it's just relax man take it easy so there's also part of me thinking okay if you see him in real life what's gonna happen then 
But these guys are all weird, isn't it? They're all strange. They're all bizarre. But that's a really interesting, funny argument. Check it out if you want to check it. It's on YouTube, I'm sure. The full thing of it. It's four hours long. I don't recommend watching it because you're probably going to waste your time. But hey, if you have nothing else to do, why not?